quick question. Um, with all the CMS platforms out there, does there ever come a point that the user requirements are still so unique that it makes more sense to create a custom CMS? That's a great question. When do you build your own? Uh, uh, from, uh, I can take it from a very simplistic perspective. I would say never. Honestly, I mean, really, it's it, with the packages that are out there today, they're so powerful. Unless there's tremendous amount of maybe legacy data or, you know, very proprietary systems that you have a situation in your business that there's no way your company's ever going to want to move away from a particular set of technologies or processes that must be adhered to, and there's absolutely no way you can integrate with the others. I mean, there are always unique situations for sure, um, but there are the, the tools that are out there are pretty robust, whether it's a combination of tools or integration layers or what have you. I mean, that's my, that's my point of view. I don't so know you what you guys think, view, but... Mark. No, I have the same point of view, Christine just pointed, sorry. Um, uh, if, if, if the CMS doesn't handle everything, you'll find a CMS that gets you to a certain point and hopefully it provides the API or application programming interface so that you can develop your own widget that uh, fits the specific uh, use case. Yeah, I would I'd say we, you know, we fell into that trap about eight years ago. Um, but now, if, you know, you would, you would, if, you're, if your system is actually an application, you know, if, if, there's, if there's screens that are application driven, lots of functionality, lots of data being pulled from back end systems, then you're really building a, an application, a web application. And there could be components of that web application that have content managed. But if, then your answer is, OK, well, those, those pieces of that application that need to be content managed, there's easily a handful of tools, a handful of CMSs that act more like uh, embedded, uh, embedded inside of an application and just manage you know, specific pieces of content within an application. And you're sort of choosing a different CMS, essentially. And you, maybe your system is 70% application and only 30% managed content. But for that 30%, and, and your problem then isn't what CMS to choose. Your problem is really, how do I build a custom web application? But for that 30%, you can use a, a specific tool to, to help you handle that 30%.